Yo, what is up guys? And this is Lloyd of Inverts PH and today I will be sharing four of my isopod tubs. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So first up is my Kibaris Mirina. Um as you can see they have they there is a lot of them. They're pretty Prolific at first I only collected around 15 of them and it seemed like they don't multiply really fast but after maybe a month or so um they produced and breed pretty well and their population really boomed and after and after that they really produced so many man guys so as you can see what started from around 15 pieces of isopod of Kibaris Murina ended up like this. That I, I also collected it outside of my home. As you can see, so many of them. It is now really established. I only use this ice cream, ice cream tub. As you can see, yeah. with only this ventilation, and they really produced pretty fast. So, let's get into another isopod dub. So, so next is my P. Proinosus. Uh, sorry if I slayed that or I spelled that correctly, thank you. Or let's just call it powder blue isopod as you can see this is their tub it's just kind of small tub but as you can see there are so many of them because they're pretty prolific um, they breed really well they multiply so fast uh, I collected this isopod in a in a rotting coconut tree when I'm collecting some beetle grubs for my tarantulas um, maybe I got around 20 plus of them and maybe and after around 5 to 6 months this is the result so that's my powder blue isopods let's get to two of my new uh, or I mean undescribed species of isopods I collected here in the Philippines so Let's get into it. So, guys, uh, as you can see, I have two tubs for two of the species. Even though I see them cohabitating under rocks and logs and decay decaying leaves, uh, they like it pretty damp like some other tropical isopods. But the spotted one, uh, this is the, spot the spotted one. I posted it in a group and it... It is some type of merulanol, merulal, merulanella species. Um, they're kind of, they're pretty fast. Wait. They're pretty fast species. They breed really well as you can see. Oh, it's just only some type of, some springtails. Let's find some. Uh, wait. Here, let's. This is the adult. Come on, focus. Ah, man. This is the adult one. They're pretty fast. As you can see, the, this is just some springtails running around. Okay, they're here. Wait, sorry. This one, okay. This one, oh, that as you can see, they're really fast. So, this is the Merulanula sp species. Um, so, let's get into another tub. So this is the other isopod colony I have. I call this dirt duckies because as you can see, uh, let's find one. 
because as you can see they seem to really enjoy mud focus camera wait let's find more come on see that is a lot of them they blend they blend really well in the soil where i found them together with this colony uh as you can see they look pretty amazing because of the color and its back look like some crocodile scutes uh, so let's just hope for that both of these isopods will be identified and i will be looking for more new types of isopod in the wild but before we end this video uh as you can see they're running out of leaves so let's give them some uh, so guys as you can see I have refilled their uh, their leaves for for them for something to hide and to chew on to feed on whatever they want them to be uh, so that's it and that's all I hope you guys like this type of video if you did please leave a like comment or something and if you want more content be sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace